Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this particular video. In this one, we're talking about the clone brush tool. Now, the clone brush tool is awesome because you can clone, clone things and you can add a little something to your photos and your compositions. So let's just get started. I like to always start my videos by resetting my studio back to default, um, just in case you want to follow along and you want our screens to look the same. So to do that, I go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Okay, so the clone brush, where is it? It is located on your left-hand side where all your tools are, and it looks like a stamp, like a big stamp. Uh, you can also hit K on your keyboard as the shortcut to bring it up. Uh, and let's click on that and you'll see when I do it my mouse changes to a circle and there's also a little target sort of following it around if you look to the left of it right here and the things you are worried about when you're doing working with the clone brush tool is just keep in mind it's a brush just like anything else in affinity photo that's a brush the settings on your top left here are going to affect how your clone looks so this is your brush size your opacity, which is essentially the transparency of the um, of the clone or the brush you're using. Your flow, which is essentially think of it like the amount of paint you have on a paintbrush as you as you kind of brush things over. And the hardness, which is how hard or soft the edge of the brush actually is. So I'm going to reset these all to 100 just to give you an example here. And if you're on a PC or a Mac, you'll want to look in the bottom left corner, the very bottom down here. Um, and it'll tell you click plus drag to clone the selected source. I'm on a Mac, so mine is option plus click to set uh, to select another source. Um, on a PC, I think you it's alt click. Um, so I have this photo here, this cool photo, and I want to create a clone of this guy. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't want to mess with this photo, I want to keep this photo the same. I don't want to uh, make it uh, destructive. I don't want to destroy anything on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my layers panel here and I'm going to click on this button here, which is uh, create a new pixel layer. So I'm going to add that and that's going to appear at the very top of my layer. So anything I clone up here won't affect this picture down here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you by default, if you look in the very top um, toolbar here, you're going to see this thing that says current layer. So if I have my pixel layer selected and I on my Mac I hit option click on your PC if you hit alt click you wouldn't see anything nothing actually appears because it's trying to clone from this pixel layer and what I want to do is go up to the very top menu here and I want to change this from current layer to current layer and below that means it's going to start reading the layers below it and you can see now that I've done that uh, I'm going to click on this guy's head and you can see that this uh, guy is uh, appearing as a clone now I'm going to paint him on here and you're going to see it's not going to look very good now the reason it's not looking very good is as we talked about in the top left corner these settings my hardness is set to 100 which means these edges are very very sharp so uh, let's get rid of that and what I'm going to do just to show you as an example is I'm going to turn the hardness all the way down so the hardness is now at zero and now I'm going to go and click on this guy's head and I'm going to increase my brush size now if you don't know on a uh, on an affinity photo to increase or decrease your brush size if you hit your left bracket key your brush will get smaller if you hit your right bracket key your uh, brush will get bigger and you can always do it up here as well in the top left corner I just find using the keyboard shortcuts a little a little easier so uh, I'm gonna option click on his head and you would alt click on a PC and then I'm just gonna start painting over here then you can see it's the so you can see on, on, on the original guy that the target is following him as I'm cloning him and it's just taking a copy of that and I'm cloning it over on this side so that is essentially how you would use the clone brush tool. Now the thing that's cool about creating a separate layer uh, for this, if I wanted to turn this off, I can turn it off. If I wanted to move him, I can move him. Um, I could do a bunch of different things. I could rotate him. Um, you can also do this with the brush, which I'll show you in a second. But if I wanted to rotate him, I could right click on him. I could go to transform and I could say flip horizontal and he would be looking this way. Um, there's also a way to do that with the brush. Uh, the clone brush so if I wanted this to um, paint on this way without flipping it later with the clone brush selected you'll see more options up here there's current layer and below there's rotation so I can rotate the brush I can make it bigger or smaller and I can also hit flip so if I wanted to paint um, just how it looks now I would set it to horizontal and you would paint on that way um, so that's some options to keep in mind when you're doing uh, a clone so that uh, is a quick example of how to use the clone brush tool we'll do one more um, so in this option or in this example, I have some clouds. I have a field and some clouds and uh, We're going to clone one of these clouds So what I'm going to do again first is create a pixel layer on top So I don't do any damage to the original photo. I got my pixel layer selected I'm going to go to my clone brush tool over here on the left and I have current layer and below selected up here. So that's good 
And my brush is a little bit big, so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller by hitting my left bracket key. Uh, I've got my source selected now over top here, so I'm gonna hit option click on your Mac. You're gonna hit alt click. And I'm just gonna start painting on the cloud over here. So that's good, I'm happy with that cloud. So now I've uh, duplicated this cloud. Again, I can turn it on and off in my layers panel. I can move it around, I can make it smaller. And that is how you use the clone brush tool. Just remember, when you're doing the clone brush tool, um, always worry about your settings in the top left corner here, because all of these, opacity, flow, and hardness, will affect how your clone looks. Um, you can always create a pixel layer on top so you don't do any damage to the original photo. Just remember when you do that uh, to have current layer and below selected, because if you're just on the layer and it's a blank layer, nothing's gonna happen. You could clone on the original photo. I could click on this. I could have current layer selected and I could select it and it would work, um, but I would be damaging the original photo. So it's all how you want to work. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if it was, you know, me being a massive YouTuber, um, <laughs> I gotta ask, uh, if you wouldn't mind, it helps me so much if you could just click, tap, 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 click, tap that like button. Uh, that helps me so much, you have no idea. And if you've never seen my videos before, or if you've watched my videos and you're watching from afar, kind of creepy, hanging out, just watching me, you know, uh, uh, why don't you subscribe? Join the gang. We're learning something new every week. Uh, not an actual gang. And uh, I, uh, I appreciate you watching. If you want to leave a comment, I read and respond to every single one of them. And I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.